This is Prophet Wayne Loveless from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hallelujah. Loveless Ministries. We're located at 4109 Pepperton Drive, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27606. That's 4109 Pepperton Drive, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27606. We're going to be talking about, glory to God, amen, dominion. Amen. Eka dominion. Dominion means taking over. Amen. Eka of God has given us dominion. Eka of Oshanda. I believe uh, Romans 5 says, If by one man sin a death into the world, then by another man, even Eka of they which receive the gift of eternal life and, and righteousness, shall reign in this life by one Christ Jesus. Now, I know I messed that scripture up and I paraphrased it, but what it is, it's saying that we're supposed to reign in this life. Jesus is the king of kings. Who are the kings that he's over? That's us. He is the Lord of lords. Kings and lords are rulers. Amen. For the Bible says that God, the heavens are the heavens are the lords, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. God gave this earth to man. In the beginning, God said in Genesis 1, let there be light, and it was light. And God said, let there firmament divide from the water. Firmament meaning the sky. God also let us make the beast of the earth and every creeping thing and all the fowls of the air even all the great whales amen and god amen called the first day day you know and then this the night he called night amen glory to god hallelujah he called, he called the light day and the darkest night he called the light day and the darkness he called night. Amen. And God said, let us make man in our image. He got a but He created he and he created she. Amen. And at first he created the man. Because he took from the dust of the earth. And he made a man. Amen. And then he breathed into his nostrils. And he became a living soul. Then the Lord said, it's not good that the man should be alone. He could let us make a helpmate. So he caused the Lord God, caused a deep sleep to come over Adam. And he took from his rib, from his side, and he created woman. A woman is a man with the womb. Come on, somebody. He got a Shanda. He got a a helpmate. There are certain things that a woman knows that a man doesn't know. Glory to God. And he made woman. He got a Shanda. He got a And he told them to be fruitful and multiply amen multiply means have kids replenish the earth and being fruitful is have careers have jobs audible do some great things be productive amen if you're not productive in this life amen then you've got to go back to the garden you've got to go back to see where authority comes from amen that you have rights in christ jesus you got to rule and reign this earth amen and god said i got to take dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowls he gave them dominion over the fowls of the air of the fish of the sea the fowls of the air and the beasts of the earth hallelujah and God placed the original man and woman, Adam and Eve, in the garden, in a paradise with four rivers. Oh, come on, somebody. God is a God of multiple streams. They had comforts, but they weren't lazy. They had jobs. They had to till the land, amen. But they didn't have to sweat, hallelujah, because there was a mist that came up from the earth and watered the garden. Oh, hallelujah. They didn't have to sweat. They didn't have problems with crops, amen, until they got kicked out of the garden. Sin will get you kicked out of your destiny or, or where you're trying to go, amen. But I'm kind of going ahead of myself, amen. And then God brought all the animals to Adam to see what he would name him. Amen. God will bring situations to us. We're so busy calling upon God. Lord, what should we do about COVID? Come on, somebody. God said you name it. 
Come on, you give it a name. Call it disease. Call it defeated. Call it another demon that's going down in Jesus' name. Call it done in Jesus' name. Curse it in the name of Jesus. And when the animals, when God caused the animals to come to Adam, whatever he called them, that's what they were. Oh, glory to God. He got a boshanda. Whatever you call in life, the circumstances that come your way, that's what they'll be. If you have money shortage and you're speaking money shortage, you're going to still have money shortage. If you have an unhappy marriage and you keep speaking that, then you're going to have an unhappy marriage. Come on. If you have a lack of joy or you're, if you're persecuted even within the church and you keep speaking it, then that's what you're going to have because life and death are in the power of the tongue. And the Bible also says that a man's belly should be filled with the fruit of his lips. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to walk in? We got to walk in the spirit and we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. I believe that is in Galatians. Glory to God. If you walk in the spirit, if you walk with God, if you keep yourself filled with the word, if you pray in the Holy Ghost, building up your most holy faith, according to the book of Jude, according to Romans 8 chapter, which says that we don't know how to pray as we ought, but the spirit maketh intercessions for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. How about he that prays in the spirit he that knoweth he that searches the hearts knows the mind and the spirit and he make intercession for the saints according to the will of God oh come on somebody we've got to pray in the spirit we've got to build up a most holy faith and God in the garden he gave man dominion he told them to be fruitful and multiply they were supposed to live forever they didn't even have to call upon god amen <clears throat> you don't have to call upon your wife you don't have to call upon your children because you have a relationship hallelujah they're right there you may have to call up someone that doesn't live in your house you may have to call up someone or get a relationship you know you know call get a re that's what call up means he got out of Oshika, you know the bible says whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved those are people that are not saved they have to call upon god but once you're saved you can have fellowship with god and you don't have to call upon him all the time because god came down in the cool of the day and he talked to adam and he had fellowship with him amen then and god is a god of rules he's a god of uh, obedience he wants us to obey him he doesn't make us robots where we just obey like the angels come on some i, I mean in a, he gives us a free will glory to god and i correct that the angels have a will too because satan thought he was higher than god and wanted to send up he decided to do that come on and he was cast out like lightning amen and they had dominion Glory to God. They had dominion and they were supposed to live forever. They were naked. I'm going to take a shower. They were naked. Okay. Go ahead. They were naked and they didn't even know it. Glory to God. It wasn't until after they disobeyed God and Eve ate of the knowledge of the tree of good and evil that her eyes were open and she gave it to her husband and he ate himself come on and then god said to adam where art thou and he said he got a and adam said oh uh, uh, not that god didn't know where adam was god is omniscient omnipresent he knows all he's all knowing but he was speaking to adam on his level if you fellowship with god he'll speak to us on our level He'll make things plain so we can understand it. Amen. Hallelujah. And Adam said to God that the woman ate of the knowledge. Of it. The woman gave the fruit and then she gave me to eat. Amen. He blamed somebody else. When, we, when trouble comes, it's so easy to point the finger. But Eve sinned and then Adam sinned. If Adam didn't sin, go to God, then God would have kept him in the garden and she would have got kicked out. Amen. But anyway, they were kicked out of the garden. They lost that dominion in the earth, and Satan got the dominion. That's why he's called the prince of the power of the earth. He can rule, amen, until after he got up Oshanda, the millennium. And after the millennium, amen, all things will be put under God's feet, amen. Even in the millennium, I believe he'll be changed 
for a season, amen, hallelujah, for a thousand years, and then at the end he'll be loose for a short season, amen, but now he's got permission, he has the right to roam in the earth, amen, to, to wreak havoc, amen, he will go to Boshanda, but since we're born again, hallelujah, we have the right to step on his feet, I mean, a step on his head because Jesus said, Behold, I give you power to tread over serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall means hurt you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Third John, I wish above all things that thou may have prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. First John 4 and 4 says, Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. I believe the Third John says, Third John, the third, uh, first John, the third chapter says, Behold, what love the Father has bestowed upon us, hallelujah, that we may be called the sons of God. I believe that same in the fifth chapter uh, of first John, it says, who, who is he that overcometh? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God, this is he that overcometh, even our faith. The greater one lives inside of us. We have power to tread over serpents, and scorpions and all the power of the enemy we can do the same works that jesus did this is dominion adam and eve had it they had dominion but they sinned against god and they were kicked out of the garden and then that dominion that adam had went to the enemy to the devil called to god hallelujah and then the animals that was once subject to man a man now could eat the man before Adam could boss the lion around, he could kick the elephant, he got a vocal, he could play with the python, he got a boshanda, he could pet the leper. But after that, he got a, those animals could bite his hand off. Amen. They could even kill him. Amen. Or kill even Eve. Glory to God. But God, amen, when they were the, the sin will give you put a penalty, will slow you down. So let's obey God. And they were cast, they were taken out of the garden, and God put a cherubim with a sword that went every which way so that they couldn't come back in. Oh my God, let's not lose our legacy. Let's not lose our destiny to sin. If you sin, then confess your sins, and He's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Oh, come on, somebody. Isaiah 42 26, 23, and 24, or Isaiah 43 26, 27 says, I am he that blotted out that transgression for my own sake and remember them no more. Put me in remembrance. Come on. We've got to be a code of God. We've got to confess our sins. Come on. And turn from our wicked ways. How, hallelujah. Then God will hear the land. We've got to be obedient with God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're willing and obedient, then you shall eat the good of the land. Psalm 84 says, The Lord is the sun and his shields. And he gives glory, grace and glory. And there's no good thing stopping the ground. There's no good thing that he withhold from them that walk upright before him. We've got to walk upright before him. But going back to the garden, they were kicked out of the garden. Amen. But God gave them clothes. Amen. God cared for them. Amen. They began to, and after, uh, uh, I believe the third or fourth son, Methuselah, men began to call upon the name of the Lord. They began to call upon the name of the Lord because the, before the fall, Adam did not have to call upon the name of the Lord because he already knew the Lord and the Lord fellowship with him in the cool of the day. I'm not doubting anybody that calls upon God, but I want you to go up higher and fellowship with God. If you know where God is all the time and he knows where you're all the time, amen, as far as relationship, then you don't have to call upon him. You can just walk with him. Amen. I'd rather walk with God than than miss fellowship with him and had to call upon him. He got a Shonda Smith Rigglesworth said, I'm prayed up. Yeah, I'm always prayed up. I'm always ready. I'm, I don't have to fast to be ready. I'm ever ready. Yeah. Fasting is good. Please. Fasting is good. Amen. But we need to be in the presence of God all the time. Isaiah 12 says, I'll keep him in perfect peace who keeps his mind stayed on me. Amen. And, and Philippians something. Philippians 4 says, be careful for nothing, but every 
everything by your, everything by prayer and supplication. Let your request be known to God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding keep, shall keep your hearts and minds by Christ Jesus. We can walk with God. We can talk with God. We can walk in dominion. Amen. God gave dominion to Adam and Eve in the garden. Then they disobeyed God. They disobeyed God. And they were kicked out of the garden. Amen. The first Adam messed things up for mankind. But then Jesus came. He is the second Adam. Amen. Because remember when God chastened Adam and Eve and said, Now the earth will not bring forth the fruit. You got to, without you sweating from your brow, amen, it will bring thistles. You got to, and to the woman, he said, you shall have pain and childbearing. You got to, but he said to the serpent, you got to, that you got to, that there's one coming who's going to, you got to, that he's going to bruise his heel on your head, and that was Jesus Christ. So when Jesus came, he took the keys of hell and the grave away from the devil and man could return to fellowship with the Lord because before Jesus came before Jesus came amen men had to call upon God they didn't know him his spirit was not in man the spirit was on the prophets the apostles and the kings and servants for special services amen they had to make a burnt offering Hallelujah. They had to make an altar. They had to have an angelic visitation. Oh, come on, somebody. They had to go to a mountaintop. They had to see a burning bush because they didn't know God. They had to serve under a prophet or a man, a woman of God that had the spirit for years to receive something. Yes, I'm still advocating that you serve a pastor, that you serve the man and woman of God that God puts in your life, but you don't have to be under them for a thousand years. Come on, somebody. You got a boshanda because you have the Spirit of God in you. You got a boshanda. The Bible says, if ye be in Christ, seek those things which above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above and not on things of the earth. When Christ, who is alive, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. Amen. I believe that's the third chapter of Colossians, then Second Corinthians, the seventh chapter says, Ikaraboshanda, anyone that names the name of Christ, let him depart from iniquity. We have the name of Christ. He lives on the inside of us. I believe Proverbs says that the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inner parts of the belly. Jesus himself said, He that believeth in me, as the scripture has, says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. For this spoke he of the Spirit, that they would receive. Ikaraboshanda, that, that believed on him. Amen. Ikaraboshanda, after he went up to glory. Well, he's gone to glory. Ikaraboshanda, you know, so rivers of living water shall flow out of us. Jesus said, he that believed in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spoke he of the Spirit that they would receive after he was glorified. Well, Jesus has been glorified. So we have rivers of living water on the inside of us. We have dominion. Now notice, going back here, amen, in a little story, amen, the true story, amen, God gave the dominion to Adam, glory to God. And Eve, amen, all the animals, all the fishes, all the fowls, amen, they were obedient to them. Amen, they were to be fruitful and multiplied. They were placed in a paradise, amen. So if you, you're working two jobs, or if life is hard for you and you're a child of God, then something is wrong. You've got to get your covenant rights, amen, because God placed the original man in a paradise. Yes, you'll enter, you'll have tribulations. Yes, the Bible says that we shall enter the kingdom through much tribulation. Yes, the Bible says in First Peter, be not surprised at the fear of trial which is to try you, but rather rejoice that the hand of God is on you. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Hallelujah. If you are the world, the world love its own. But because you're not of the world, therefore the world hateth you. But you have joy unspeakable. 
Oh, come on, somebody. You have power over the devil. Hallelujah. You have a joy that the world doesn't have. Hallelujah. We have a peace of God that passes all understanding. Come on. We have dominion. And like I said, they were kicked out of the garden, and the devil got the dominion that man used to have. And he has been reigning over people ever since, causing havoc in the world, bringing destruction. But his time is just about up. Come on, somebody. The time really that, that his time was up when Jesus... Jesus came and defeated him, amen, and he had this authority on the earth because the Bible says that he took Jesus to exceedingly, um, uh, 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 to the pinnacle of the temple, amen, and said, all these kings of the world will I give you if you bow down and worship me, amen, he wouldn't give it to him, he's a liar, but he did have that power over those kingdoms, and Jesus promptly told them, it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Then he said, how he had power. He said, uh, command these stones that they may become bread. And Jesus said, hallelujah. Jesus said, Jesus said, uh, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then he said, Cast thyself down for the mountain, for it is written, He shall shake his angels charge of thee to keep thee on their way, so that thou dash thy foot against the stone. See, Satan's clever. He knows the word, but he can't walk in it. He can't walk holy. Come on. And Jesus said, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And the devil left him. Oh my God. And then angels came and ministered on him. There's angels that are here to minister to us if we know how to use them. The angels come, they're, they're ministers to the hairs of salvation. That's us. If you speak the word, you activate angels. If you speak doubt and unbelief, you activate demons. And I'm asking you today, saints, are you activating demons? Or are you activating angels? Amen. Speak life. For life and death is in the power of the tongue. I'd rather speak life. The Bible says, and uh, Jesus said in Mark 11, 23, 24, what, so th what things you desire. When you pray, what sort of thing you desire? Believe that you'll see them and you shall have them. Then it says that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast to sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those, but, but shall believe those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have what sort of things he saith. What are you saying? What are you believing? Amen. What you believe and you say you can have. You can't even be saved without speaking. For the Bible says, Hallelujah, Romans 10, 9, 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in the heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For the heart man believes on the righteous, and with the mouth confession is made on the salvation. We've got to believe the word of God. We've got to confess the word of God. We've got to stay in the presence of God. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, Be not ignorant of the will of the Lord, and be not drunk with wine, where is in excess. But be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Oh, come on, we can know the will of God as we sing. As we sing unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Then you can interpret it. Oh, God is so good. Seek him. He's in the neighborhood. He wants to do a new thing in your life. He wants to take you above the strife. He wants to bless you this day. So get close to him and cast your cares upon him. And you grow and flow. And you show you things that you don't even know. For God will make you a sign and a wonder. And you'll help people to come over the wonders. For he's doing a new thing this day. And you should bloom like a flower in May. So just yield to the Spirit and let him have his way. For he is the potter, the clay. This is your day. To leave old pride behind. It's time to walk 
do. It's time to walk the glory. It's time to let the Lord glory. For he's put you in the earth to be a light. He's put you in the earth to help people come to eternal life. For you have power over demons and spirits and serpents and scorpions. So don't bow down to COVID. Don't bow down to the things that come on the earth. For I have given you the keys. I have given you authority. For you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. So go out and salt the earth. Go out and tell people about my love that cometh from above, saith the Lord. That's just a little preview of, of, of singing in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and making meal in your heart to the Lord. Now, when Jesus came, amen, man was, as we stated before, he was kicked out of the garden, amen. But when Jesus came, it's like Jesus said, I've come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Come on, somebody. And the Bible also says in Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things are new and all things are God. And to that God was in Christ reconciling the world to them. He could not even put in a trespass passes against them. He has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Oh, come on, somebody. He's made us ambassadors for him. Oh, we're ambassadors for Christ. Amen. We can walk with God. Like, uh, we don't have to call upon God. You call upon God to get saved. But then after you get saved, you can walk with God like Adam walked and talked with God in the cool of the day. Uh, the day. He got up, well, you can worship and you can communicate with God any time of the day. And talking about dominion and power. Now we have power over the devil. The devil can still reign over saints that don't know who they are in Christ. He can reign over people in the world. But those of us that know that God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby given us exceedingly great and precious promises by these the, 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 by these we be made partakers of the divine nature to those that know that we've been delivered from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of his dear son and whom we redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins to those that know that he's given us power to tread over serpents and scorpions and all of the power of the enemy to those know that that know that Jesus spoke to the storm he multiplied the the the, the food Hello, he walked on the water meaning walking over circumstances he opened up the blind eyes. He unstepped, unstopped the deaf ears. Come on. There was peace wherever he went. There was healing wherever he went, except in his hometown. And you know that nothing really happened there because of doubt and unbelief. But wherever there's faith, you can go in the power of of the Lord. Come on, somebody. For John 14, chapter the 12th verse says, He that believeth in me, also it means she, Amen. Because usually when it says he, it also means she. The works that I do, she he do also, and greater works shall he do, for I go unto the Father. Well, he's going to the Father. We can raise the, we can raise the dead. We can heal the sick. We can walk on water. Come on, people are talking about food shortages. He got up. Well, I'm gonna grow some crops myself. Would you be quiet? I'm gonna grow crops myself. Amen. I'm gonna walk on the water. Amen. I'm gonna let God do a new thing in my life. Come on, somebody. You gotta boast on. But so many saints are talking about COVID and and they're talking about the things at the end time that are gonna come upon the earth. Oh my God. But my Bible still says Luke 21 that let not your hearts be filled with foolishness and surfeity. Hallelujah. they may catch you unawares. Hallelujah. Be vigilant. You gotta be sober. You gotta that you may escape the things that are going to come upon the earth. Hallelujah, that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. This is talking about the rapture. But even while we're here, we are the lie of the world. We are the ones that are going to do exploits. We need to speak to COVID. We need to curse it. Jesus said, that, hallelujah, whatever things you bind on earth should be bound in heaven. Whatever things you prohibit, whatever things you don't allow will be bound. And, and whatever you loose on earth should be loosed in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, Hallelujah will be loosed in heaven. I lose peace. I lose joy. I lose freedom. Hallelujah. I lose forth racial reconciliation. I lose forth revival. And in closing, Prophet Wayne Loveless out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And I want you to know that you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. Say it to the Lord. Praise God.